Hey Boat Dragons, let's talk about book ranking. Thank you to my patrons, I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. So if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I've had an on-again, off-again relationship with rating books. Several months back, I, I don't remember how many months back, I did a video where I talked about how I was swearing off rating books, and I was just going to focus more on the content and features of the book rather than rating books. And, and I still stand to that. But I do have a ranking system that I've kind of developed over time as I've thought about different books, you know, what, what books really stick out to me and mean the most to me, and what books are just kind of meh, you know? And this first came about in a video that I did where I ranked my best books of 2022 so far. Now this was like six months ago, or maybe five months ago. And I used this particular ranking system for that video. And I got to thinking about it over time and I'm like, you know, that makes a lot of sense for me. Today, I am going to share with you my ranking system for books. When I finish a book, how am I going to rank it from here on out? Now, not necessarily rate it. And I know they seem similar, but like I'm, I'm still not going to be doing five star, four star, that type of thing. And you're probably thinking, Chaz, you're back and forth on this. Just make up your mind, dude. I know. I'm weird like that. I, I get in these moods and I make these decisions. So we'll see how long this one sticks, right? Uh, so here we go. I am debuting my book ranking system for however long it lasts. But before I do that, please make sure that if you are enjoying this video, please like the video. And if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel. That would be perfecto. That would be awesome. And if you'd like to continue the conversation in more of a social media format, join my Discord. Link in the description below. Okay? And uh, we can have lots of fun chatting there. And, and you can still talk with me in the comments below. Be, feel free to do that. It's all good. I like that too. I have five ranks on this ranking system. And we're going to start with the bottom tier, which is burn. So you've seen a lot of people do read, hoard, burn, that kind of thing. This is kind of that similar idea. And dragons need something to burn, right? So now, now, now don't watch this video and say, Chaz, you're going to burn these books? <gasps> no, no, I don't burn books. I, I don't do that. But, but we're, we're speaking metaphorically, right? We're, we're speaking metaphorically. These, these are, are books that are fodder for the dragon's fire. And, and it means that I probably DNF'd this book. I, I might not have DNF'd it, but I probably DNF'd it, or I wished I had DNF'd it. <laughs> so so that's, that's what goes in this category. That is my burn ranking, okay? The next tier up from that is snooze. If you bore a dragon, it can't be good. This is where I, I didn't DNF the book, I did finish the book, but I was just rather bored by it, to be honest, and, and it was just severely lackluster for me, so I'm gonna end up getting rid of it, I'll, I'll donate it or whatever, trade it in for credit at the bookstore, or something like that. It's just not something that I ever care to read again, and I feel like I kind of wasted my time reading it to begin with, okay? Now, dragons get curious about shiny baubles, right? So that is my next tier up, and that's the shiny tier. And this is a book that I read. It, it was fine. I, I enjoyed it to some degree, but I probably won't reread it. And I would recommend picking it up on ebook. 
and that's and, and and that may also be where where I read it was on ebook, but it, it's one of those books that I would recommend to other people not to spend a ton of money in buying the physical book, just buy the ebook or borrow the ebook if you want to borrow it from the library, that kind of thing. It's it's shiny, it's nice looking, and it's pretty decent, but it, it's not worth hanging on to. And speaking of hanging on to things, that leads me to the next tier up from that, which is my next to highest ranking, and that is the Horde rank. Dragons hoard the things they love. <laughs> and so this means I love the book, I really want to own it, and I will probably reread it. Uh, very worth owning a physical copy of. Now that doesn't always mean I do own the physical copy of it, or I will but it's one that is worthy of owning in some way, shape, or form. Now we come to the final rank. This, this is my top tier ranking, and that is the Soaring tier. These are books that make dragons take flight and do tricks in the air, put on a light show of raging fires, and it's just an absolute spectacle to behold. I reserve this for books that are practically flawless in every way. They are absolute favorites, and they are highly rereadable. So that is reserved for the best of the best books that I have read. I'm going to be very selective of books that go in that rank. And so that is my current book ranking system. Just wanted to do a short little video to let you know about it. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to get your thoughts on it. Tease me all you want to in the comments. Feel free. I give you permission. I know that some people are going to take that and run with it. I fully expect it. Uh, but yes, I, I've gone through several different iterations of my rankings of books over the years, even before I started BookTube, and th this is where I'm at currently. So I hope you had fun with this video, and uh, make sure to hit me up on my Discord. Like I said, I'd love to have you join there. Make sure that you are reading more books. That is the most important thing. I'll talk to you later, guys.